Hello, I'm Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a paint palette with Perfect Pearls. So let's get started. Okay, to begin, I have here a Tim Holtz alcohol ink palette, and I have all the colors of Perfect Pearls that I want to make my palette with. I have a jar of water, a pipette, and a palette knife to use as a way to get the pearls into the palette. So the first thing I want to do is I'm taking this out of the package and I'm going to start with my first color. I have them in the order that I wanted to put in the palette um, and the first color is Forever Red and I'm tapping the jar onto the table to let the dust fall to the bottom so it doesn't out as I open the jar and I want to start by taking the palette knife and I'm gonna put some generous little clumps of pearls into the well here and you don't have to use this exact palette you can use any palette that you have available to you so I think that's good for now um, and I want to put this aside and I'm going to add a couple of drops of water or maybe a few drops just enough so it doesn't go over the top and it'll give me a chance to mix it a little bit I'll grab my palette knife again and I'll just mix this up and what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry. The water will evaporate. And as it's drying, you can decide if you want to add more pearls or not to it. So I think that's good. It's um, just mixed well with the water and the powder has sort of dissolved. And now I'm going to um, wipe off my palette knife with a, a baby wipe or a wet towel. And if you notice, I got a little bit of powder in this well here. I'm just gonna wipe that out before we go to the next one. Like so. And now the next color I'm gonna use is Perfect Copper. Again, I'm tapping. And I want to make sure my um, knife is dry when I'm going in here. And I'm adding a generous amount here. Okay, that looks good. Add some more water. It makes it so much easier if you have a pipette because you can really direct the water as you're going along. That looks good. Stir this up. Oops. And you stir it up until it's all dissolved. is good. Wipe off your palette knife again. And we'll move on to the next color, which I'm using Perfect Bronze. Add our water again. Stir it up. I am getting a little bit of the pearls on the outside, but we'll clean that up later. It'll be okay. We'll clean off our knife and we'll continue on. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and we'll come back once it's all done and ready to use and we'll show you how to use it. Okay, so we let our palette dry overnight and this is what it looks like. 
and you can also use the palette while it's still wet but we wanted to show you what it looks like when it's dry so that's why we're using it like that and what I have here is an embossed image that we're going to paint in using the palette okay and we're just going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see me painting okay so I'm using my small brush and I'm just going to dip it in the water and then I'm going to use my first color this is sunflower sparkle and you just dip your brush in the water until the pearls are activated okay and then once you have the pearls activated you can just begin to paint and then the great thing about this again since we emboss the image with embossing powder it resists the embossing on the card so that you stay in the lines and then I'll go to the next color again we want to activate the pearls just takes a second and then you can go ahead and paint in again And it's um, best not to add too much water when you're doing this because number one, it'll take too long to dry and also it won't be as vibrant. And I'm just um, doing this quickly here. I'm not being real fussy about staying in the lines and I'm not sure if you can see, but it does resist the embossing on here. You can add more water if you need to. And then this will dry to a really pretty pearlized look. And also, aside from just um, coloring in a stamped image or an embossed image, you can also just freehand paint like you would with watercolor. That comes out really nice too. And I want to show you um, a little trick. Up here is a little more wet than the rest and what i'm gonna do is i'm drying my brush a little bit on a paper towel and then it kind of like you can suck up the excess if you wanted to just so that it um isn't as wet if you get it too wet okay now i think i'm going to go on to my next color i'm going to color in the bottom here i'm going to use some turquoise so we're rinsing our brush and then we're gonna go ahead and add water to the pearls here and then i'm just going to paint in these blank areas first And the diamonds and a little bit is going a really long way here as you can see don't really even have to go back into the paint at the moment <laughs> and then once this dries you do not have to do anything else to set it so that's another good thing when you paint with the pearls they become permanent and then I'm just coloring in this section here for a little bit of color there's like a crossword little pattern in these sections. So it's just filling in a tiny area, but again, it's resisting the embossing that's on the card here. So you don't have to be fussy about getting in these tiny little dots. You just color the whole thing and it'll fall into place. And then it's done. Now I have one that I already did that's dry. So instead of showing you this, I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. It dries with this nice pearly shine to it. And what we're going to do is make a card out of it. And maybe we'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see me put this together. I've already cut out a background for this. I'm using just using pattern paper and then I'm just going to glue this down like so in the center 
and then I'll glue it again to the card. And then it's just quick and easy. And I'll bring it up close again. So you see that beautiful shimmer? Now I'll show you some more examples where we painted in an image, same way. This one, it was just stamped, it's not embossed, and we painted in the coffee cups. Here, this one was embossed, and we painted in And then this one was freehand and we painted it all freehand and just made it look like this fish was swimming in the ocean. So there's an idea with how to paint with your Perfect Pearls palette. And if you'd like to see more videos on how to paint with Perfect Pearls, just keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels for more.